This year, go back to school in style with 10 different nail art designs. That's right, you're watching the ultimate guide to back to school nail art. Today I'm bringing together some of my favorite classics along with a bunch of brand new designs for back to school. You can mix and match a few or you could try all 10. Let me know down in the comments which design is your favorite. Let's begin with the text on paper design. Yup, you'll be seeing a lot of text once you're back to school. Begin by painting your nail gray like newspaper or white like a book. Next, fill up a little container with rubbing alcohol and dip a tiny piece of newspaper into it. Wait about five to eight seconds to loosen the ink. This works best if the newspaper is newly bought. Then press the newspaper print against your dried nail. Do this for about 10 seconds. Once you remove it, you'll be left behind with text on your nail. Clean up around the edges with a cotton swab dipped into water. Finally, seal in the ink with a fast drying top coat. Next up is a ruler for measuring. Begin by painting your nail yellow. You may need two coats to get it opaque. Next, use a black striper to create alternating long and short lines. The easiest way to do this is by keeping your brush still and slowly rotating the finger you're working on. It also helps to have both hands rested on the table. Pretty easy! Seal in with a top coat. Up next, one of my all-time favorites for back to school, lined paper nails. Begin by painting your nail white. Once this has dried, use a light blue striper to draw a few horizontal lines across the nail. Again, keep the brush still and slowly rotate the finger instead. Finally, add a vertical pink line down the side. Ah, these are so cute and easy! Finish it off with a top coat. Moving on to lined paper's bestie, the pencil. We're going to be doing the back of one, so begin with a yellow nail. Next, use an orange striper to draw three vertical lines. Do your best to space them evenly and keep them thin. Now take a metallic polish and add in the metal. You can always go over it again to straighten it up and increase the opacity. Finally, add light pink for the eraser. Seal it all in with a fast drying top coat. Let's add a red apple to the mix. Begin by painting your nail white. Next, use a red polish to add two big bumps for the top half of an apple. Take your time while you do this and fill it in. Whoops! Next, use a toothpick with white polish to add some shine to your apple. And then continue to use the toothpick to add in a green leaf. Finally, add a stem with a black striper. Once you've given it a couple minutes to dry, finish off with a fast drying top coat. Music class! Next, we're going to work on some piano keys. Begin with a white nail. Next, use a black striper to draw two vertical lines down the nail. Then add two lines going a little less than halfway down the nail on each side of the first two lines. Square off the bottoms of the black keys by using short horizontal lines. Finish off with a fast drying top coat. Next up is the ever so retro chalkboard. Begin by painting your nail green. Then add a white tip. Next, use a white striper to add some mathematical operations on the chalkboard. Here I've done the division and addition signs. Then fill in the white tip with orange or brown to create wood. Don't forget your piece of chalk. Seal it all in with a top coat. Time for geography class. This week's assignment, paint a globe. Begin with a white nail. Next, use a light blue polish to create a big circle on the side of your nail. Use a toothpick and green polish to add land over the water. Use a stippling motion for best results. Once you've sketched out the land, you can fill it in. Use a black striper to add a short horizontal line above the globe. Then create a big curved line above that, circling the globe. Finally, add a little triangle at the top. Now, it looks great just like this, however, you can always outline it if you wish. Doing so will make it pop even more, however, it can be a little tricky. Finish off with a fast drying top coat. The next nail will be a calculator. Begin by painting your nail yellow. Next, use a light blue polish to paint a thick horizontal line for the screen. Then use a dotting tool to add in the buttons. I like to have one of them red to represent the on button. I think it looks extra cute this way. Now you can add in numbers on the screen if you wish. 
here I'm going with 1.1 because it's very simple to do. Seal it all in with a top coat. Finally, I decided to end off with a backpack. Begin by painting your nail pink. Next, paint your nail with purple polish, leaving a border of the pink around the sides. You may need two coats to get it opaque. Add a thin pink tip. Then use a white striper to add stitching around the edges of the purple section. Then add a line and a triangle for a zippered pouch. And as always, seal it in with a fast drying top coat. And that's it! 10 fun and cute and easy back to school designs that will have your nails ready for all the fun and excitement a brand new school year will bring. Let me know in the comments which design is your favorite and also don't forget to share your recreations with me on Instagram and Twitter using that hashtag cute polish. Take care and I'll see you next time.